Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Dr. Lee? I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. All right, so I've got the Institute teleporter now. I can leave if I wanted, but... Yeah, that would be breaking and entering. Mysterious phase three. You know I can't talk about that. Hey, Dr. someone has to clean the place up. Obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. I'm not stealing, I'm just cleaning the, the place up. Is What have you got? I can offer a range of nutritious and great tasting food supplements. Food Supplement 7 is very popular for its spicy flavor. And Food Supplement 91 is our newest offering. Sure. Let's see what you have. Okay, I'm going to have to modify this. Because he just talked about food supplements with names, but they're not in here. Just generic institute food packet. Don't mind me, I'm just taking all your beer. All your beer! All your beer! All your beer. Actually, since we just picked up teleportation access, why don't I just offload all this stuff that's, keep, that's weighing me down? At. Oh. Still unavailable. Because I haven't completed the main quest enough, apparently. We are honored to welcome you here. Another thing I want to check out while I'm here, because I think he's supposed to be wearing a uniform. You. Yeah, he's supposed to be wearing a synth uniform. Why is he not? It's open. Would you like some processed sustenance packets? I don't need anything. I'm gonna have to take a look at why the synth uniform isn't properly equipping.
Our new synths are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Dr. Oberly. People on the surface have got it pretty bad. Makes me thankful for being down here. Nothing of note here. Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm Institute material. I'm gonna prove him wrong. <clears throat> You're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. Hi. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file computer. No hurry. You're the doctor here? Everyone's a doctor here. But if you mean physician, then yes, I'm about as close as we've got to one. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself, so I don't have to. Got a minute to patch me up, Dr. Volker? Hmm. Let's see what's wrong with you. All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. I got just the thing. So apparently I get free medical help. I was kind of... Here we are. Good as new. We've got some medical supplies over at Requisitions. I suggest you stock up. I need medical attention. Let's have a look. I have to admit, the third generation sense are really something. Now, hold still, please. Did he just call me a third generation synth? See? More evidence that you're a synth. All right. That should do it. So, uh, yeah, there's no other conversations I can have with him, which is kind of a bummer. Telling you, the player protagonist is a synth. A filthy, dirty synth. Get used to it, folks. You're a synth. Rosalind is as smart as she is beautiful. I just wish I could get her to notice me. Writings on the walls, people. Writings on the walls. It's hard to stand out when you're surrounded by geniuses. I wouldn't be here if not for your son. Is there anything else here that might spark an interesting conversation?
a join the railroad thing here in the institute. Interesting. Okay, I've got to listen to that because there's no way that's a standard one. Because you had to have been introduced to the railroad to get here. It's required. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Alright, so maybe it was just a, a little bit of cleverness. It was in one of the office rooms, and it was in the trash. This takes us back to where we were before, yeah. Bioscience. You have time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations more. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else at one side. I wonder how the Warwick family. Wally must be close to 10 years old before. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long out there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Now that was interesting, wasn't it? We've been to the Warwick homestead. Uh, it's the one that's located 